Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to get the current volume level of your uh, device, the system, and show it on your app or like using some seek bar or something. Let's see. So I'll name this app as uh, Access Volume Level. Again, you can name this app anything. I click finish and wait for the environment, the ID, the Android Studio environment to load up. Yeah, so once the environment loads up, uh, we'll first do the layout. We'll keep the layout pretty simple. Uh, we'll add a button most, um, uh, yeah. so that we'll use to trigger uh, or get the volume. So we'll just name it as get volume levels. Perfect. And uh, yeah, so we are now center, put the constraints. Most likely, I'll keep this uh, text also, I'll not remove it. The default one, what we get, I'll give it some ID. And then, uh, what I'll do is I'll just create uh, or few seek bar where I'll put the, I'll show the volume level. So, there are different kinds of volume volume of music, volume of uh, what uh, calls, and volume of alarms, and all. So, I'll just try to see. Uh, I think one by one, we can access the volume of music. This seek bar can be okay, just. Click refactor and give the constraints. So seek bar is pretty easy to implement, and then they could be another seek bar. And uh, okay, first I'll do this one also. So I'm just randomly doing the size and all, but you you can uh, use the uh, width and height to be more precise. Okay, and over here what I'll do is the second one is probably for alarm. I hope my spelling is correct. Seek bar alarm. And what else? Uh, the third one could be for. I think I've done for music first one. Second one is for alarm. So third one could be for calls, voice calls. So I'll just use calls. There, are, there are lots of other musics like, uh, uh, but but we'll use uh, like ringtone and all. But we'll use this this three. Uh, okay, I think I by mistake I put text view. That's not the correct one. I wanted a seek bar. Sorry about that. So yeah. So yes, I will just size it and then make it for calls. Perfect. Okay. So so first one is for uh, music, alarm, and calls. in this I have to give the constraints so from layout perspective that's all I will go to the Java code now and start doing my code so first and foremost we will create a few private variables uh, one of them could be audio manager <coughs> uh, so the one we which will use to get or access uh, the level of the volume and then I think the, for the widgets in our uh, uh, layout, I'll use the local variables here. So one could be text view, one could be what uh, for seek bar. I think we'll need three variables. So one could be for seek bar music, seek bar <coughs> alarm, and seek bar what calls. The third one was for calls. The order doesn't matter, of course. Yeah. And I'll also create a tutti, an empty or uh, a public void button, get volume to associate it with our button so that whenever the button is clicked, this particular method is triggered. So go back to your layout and here down below in the on click attribute, just set it up. Perfect. Now come back here. I think one by one we have to assign all this variables also so I'll start with audio manager and for audio manager what we can do is we can uh, we can use this uh, and then get system service so get system service and which service which we need is uh, we'll need <coughs> audio manager no audio service so audio service yeah and if there is some warning you just cast to android manager just do that and it will take care so it will be basically doing a type casting for this particular variable 
okay perfect and then we can do it for other variables like text view find view by id r dot id dot text view and for other tick bar alarm find view by id r dot id dot tick bar alarm so that's the advantage of giving the name uh, properly so that <coughs> you don't have to think too much i mean what is the id given on that side because as long as names are matching we'll be knowing what we are doing with which one yeah in the layout and in the code it will be more both synchronized uh, dot id dot music okay so i think once we have done that uh yeah now what we can set is uh the seek bar by default i think comes in the range of 0 to 100 but uh, the volumes i think they come from 0 to 15 or 0 to 20 based on the uh, versions of the phone and uh, os so we can set the maximum set max and here to set the max what we can do is we can get the audio manager and we can get the stream max volume and here the stream type is the integer which is basically uh, will tell us what is uh, we want to access whether we want to access for voice call or yeah but uh, so here also we'll just go with the name what we have used here so music will be for music and we'll do control c control v, v, v yeah so the other two are okay one by one i'll do so alarm and the other one is call and similarly i will do it here alarm call so the in for calls is voice call by the way just yeah so this is set me the maximum so it will be very right in the proportion and now here what we can do is we can just set this instead of setting max we have to set the progress so set progress and i think that's same we have to do okay i think that was fine and same we have to do for all the three progress and over here as well progress and don't forget that here also we have set the max volume but that we have to remove and then change it to uh, volume okay so apart from this we also have one text view so we can use that text view also to print uh, something so say for example we can set text and here he, uh, here we can set music um, uh, uh, okay so okay so i will just say music and then i'll uh, put this one uh, for the music we need to extract that but please note this will give me the output in the in format so we have to change from integer to, to format so we can use this integer to string uh, basically and then inside this we can use this part as it is we can just copy paste control c control v perfect and then apart from this we can also do for uh, other like uh, apart from music it is alarm and i think i'll give some space here as well or comma probably alarm and then we can use the same thing i think i'll just copy of course i'll have to change from music to alarm control c control v no i think i missed a plus over here plus yeah and instead of music i should have given alarm here perfect and what else so i will just also do it for uh, the last one the call volume the calls and here again i will just add it and just change it to voice call of course so all the uh, brackets looks good and now we'll run this in our emulator to see how it comes up so <clears throat> in the meantime when the emulator is taking time i'll just clean up my code a little bit Yeah, looks good to me. Okay, so we'll wait for the emulator to come up. So emulator has come up. Of course, this is the default layout and we, this is the hello world, the default text which we which I left. So if I click this button, I was, exp oh, of course, yeah. So what I was expecting and what, what is it showing 
<coughs> that seek bar is showing the different levels of each of these uh, uh, settings like music, alarm and calls they are at these levels. Of course when you change it physically over here nothing will change because uh, in the back end I have not done the set using a seek bar. So there is another video of mine. Uh, I'll post a link in the description folder in the description below uh, to see that uh, video if you want to set it using the seek bar. But over here I just I'm just trying to read the uh, volume which is set currently. So how to see that uh, uh, in the emulator? What you can do is you can go to this uh, control and over here if you press these three buttons. So here you can see the volumes of different uh, different types, uh, different stream type. So say for example for music or oh, media volume, which is basically music, which is around 13 and 15 is the highest I guess. So it's pretty high. So I'll just bring it down. Uh, I'll just play around. And over here calls, I can see it's around. Uh, it seems to be pretty high, uh, but I don't know why it says only four. So I'll do one thing. I'll just go to the max and see what happens. And for alarm volume also, I'll go to max and see what happens. Or, or probably let me do one thing. Let me go for full for all three and see what happens. So I've done full for all three. And now I'm setting uh, get volume. So if you can see for music, it's up to integer 15. For alarm, it's up to seven and cost is up to five. So it's not same across and that's that's the reason uh, this line number 29 to 31 is pretty important to set the maximum so if i go back here again so i can bring that uh yeah pop-up menu and this time probably i'll set somewhere around here so i'm expecting this should be call as uh, volume as one because it was five maximum so it is either one or two or i'm not sure yeah it's zero one two three i'm not sure so i, I think it's it will either one or two so media also I will bring it somewhere down and alarm volume I will keep it somewhere around here yeah. and let's see what happens. So alarm I am expecting it to be 6, 1 and somewhere around 2 or 3 here. Yeah. yeah perfect. So almost similar. Uh, yeah call it is 2 and the respective settings respective change also I can see here. Uh, of course we could have given a label like which sick bar is for what. Uh, we could have added some text view and uh, given a thick labels but I have not done that. But I just quickly wanted to show you it is very very easy to get the volume. <coughs> of your system and uh, set it in the seek bar or text to you or whatever i mean once you have the data in your java code you can put it anywhere so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you